looks like the rain might just hold off for me for once. You know, I like fishing in bad weather. It's when the fish bite, they just don't know it's raining. They're already wet. But, yeah, done did made it to the Noose River, me and Bella. All this morning, drove through lightning and pouring ass rain from the hotel. We gonna get on down here and check this place out and see if we can't find us a couple flatheads. Ain't that right? Go-to rig right here. I can't remember if this is a seven knot or an eight knot team catfish circle hook. Well, it's not a circle hook, it's a double action. I think it's kind of just a circle hook that they bent out a little bit personally. I got an 80 pound mono leader going to a barrel swivel and I like the flat weights. I don't know if it makes quite a difference what kind of weight you use, but yeah, I, I like that weight to be free. I like the fish to be able to run with it. I don't think they can feel it as good. Yeah, as far as your rod, I mean, any old rod will do. I got a 100 pound braid up here though, just in case. You never know when a big one's gonna bite. And yeah, good rod too. So when I hook my, when I hook my bait up, So when I hook them guys up, I'll take the whole brim. I don't care how big it is. I'll take the biggest one right there in that live well. I take them. You don't want to hook them too far down. You don't want to hook them too far up. You hook them too far up, they'll fall. Off. They'll fall up right off the hook when you cast them. Hook them too far down, it'll kill them because you hook your spine. I normally get right that that fin right there. I normally get right about half an inch below it. Of course, depending on how how big the brim is, and that dude. He will sit there, oh, and he will flop and flip. I mean, that dude will stay alive all day. We'll never have a problem. He will swim freely. All right, that's just a little, just a little advice on how I like to rig my stuff up. This right here, that's what I come out here to do, babe. Yeah, sure, that's a big dude. My, look at that freaking old freaking flatty daddy. Woo! Within five minutes. Ooh, they hard to pick up one hand. Yeah. Right now, I reckon the thunder and lightning has lifted, and I guess me and old Bella are settled in for the night. See if we can't come up with another big old flathead while we're here. As we're speaking, that rod right there is doing what 
I don't want to jump. I've got a lot well full, completely full of brim. I finally found them. Well, no way, no M 
effing way. No fucking way. Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Cut. 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 No. No. You're not going to break. You're not going to break. You're not going to break off. No, you are not. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. This thing is as big as the freaking boat. What the hell? Holy crap. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that freaking fish. Oh my god. Oh man. Holy crap. Look at it. Oh my jimmies. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh man. This is the fish. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh no, freaking way. Oh my golly. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. oh my god. You come back up here to me. You are hanging out with me. Holy crap! Holy! Oh! oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. Thank you so, so freaking much. So much.